you know, by fearing the Lord, Salakia. This is uh, part two, you know. All right. But uh, by fearing the Lord, man, you must respect, you know, and, and, and honor the brothers, you know, and love the brothers that you have amongst you, man. Okay. If it comes to the, you know, where you're checking up on your brothers, you know, making sure, you know, you keep it, you, you your brothers keep it, man. You check it up on the flock. Hey, that's laying up, up your treasures in heaven, man. You're storing up this, this wisdom, this knowledge, this understanding to the best of your ability. All right? Okay? You're seeking those things from above, man, in the heavens. All right? Hey, two-thirds of our people, you know, aren't in this mentality, man. They don't care about, you know, the Lord, man. They think this life is going to continue on as it is. All right? But they're sadly mistaken, man. Okay? So us as men of the Lord, hopefully, you know, we're the of that elect, man. That of that 144,000, you know, that one third. This is why we're what? Making our calling and election sure by doing these epistles in the form of videos. All right. We're laying and storing up our treasures in above, man. We're seeking the above wisdom. All right. The wisdom from above. <laughs> so when it's time, you know, to you know, uh, uh, to um, pretty much, you know, uh, extract, you know, from that treasure, hey, the Lord will give us, you know, the ability to do so. Okay? So we can go back to James. <clears throat> All right? James chapter 3, verse 13. Head and says, wisdom from above. It said, who is a wise man? And endowed with knowledge among you. Let him show out of a good conversation his works with meekness of wisdom, man. All right. <clears throat> and this man, you must see, you know, through his works, man. All right. Because it's going to show his faith. All right. The scriptures say faith without works, you know, is being dead, is, is dead, being alone, man. Because you must both. You know, have both. You, you know, you, you you must have both. You know, that's that formula that you need, man. Faith without works is dead, man. Okay? This is how you know a wise man among you. All right? Good conversation, man. Of a good conversation, man. All right? And that's pretty much, it has to go into his conduct, man. And how he... You know, uh, conduct himself out there, you know, in the, in the world and in the truth. OK. You know, and I'm talking to myself first and foremost, man. OK, we must show ourselves to be men. All right. And, and be holy and separate from, you know, wickedness, man. The Lord has raised up a standard, you know, right before our enemy's eyes, man. OK. Verse 14. But if you have bitter envy and strife in your hearts, which is your mind, glory not and lie not against the truth, man. No matter what we go through in this walk, man, okay? Don't lie against the truth. Lying against the truth, you know, is a very selfish and 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 um <laughs> a very selfish thing, man. Okay? Hey, this truth supersedes our feelings, man. <laughs> This truth must supersede how we feel, man. All right? Or else we're no different than a woman. All right? We're coming in an effeminate spirit. Because of the effeminate spirit, you know, is, is not conscious on how, you know, she's reacting or act, or, you know, you know, behaving, man. Because she's letting her emotions, you know, uh, get the best of her. Now, don't get me wrong. <laughs> you know, we all... You know, let our zeal, you know, get the best of us at times, all right, to where we get overzealous, whatever it may be. Or we can't understand certain things or why things, certain things has happened to us, man. All right, but we're supposed to think in our strengths that we fall into these diverse, you know, temptations, man. 
we must understand that the Lord is trying our patience, man. The Lord is trying us and refining us, man. And showing us what it is to suffer. Showing us what it is to have without. Showing us what it is to, you know, be in a lowly situation or a lowly position. All right? So when we become, you know, in that uh, uh, in that glorious state, man, now we understand both good and evil. We understand how to handle certain situations in life, man. Okay? That's it. Verse 15, it says, the, This wisdom descended not from above, but is earthly, sensual, and devilish. Yeah, man, when you're in that type of spirit, that envying and strife, all right, you got strife in your heart, all right, and you lying against the truth, man, that's, that's, hey, man, that's, that's, uh, that's not exuding wisdom, man. All right, that's not, that's not showing forth your wisdom. All right, the scriptures say a tree is known by the fruit it bears, man. All right. You get it? It says, for where envy and strife is, there is confusion and evil, every evil work, man. All right. And that's so true, man. You know, you get a lot of Hebrew Israelites, you know, that's so called in this truth, man. All right. They show, you know, you, you, you're pretty much showing your horns and showing your, your true agenda. You know, when you come in that Indian and strife or debating spirit. All right. <clears throat> You, you pretty much showing your horns. You pretty much showing your your your, your true agenda. Okay. You're envious of the wisdom, you know that the you know our apostles and elders obtained, but you're not understanding. It took them forty plus years, you know, to obtain this knowledge, to obtain this wisdom, and here it is. You feel that the Lord is dealing with you so much, okay. You can obtain it in five years, two years, you know, 12 years, 20. Come on, man. But that's the spirit of Esau, man. The spirit of Esau is a convenient type of spirit, a fast type of spirit, a popcorn, this popcorn generation. You know, microwave popcorn, I might add. All right. Because when you pop, you know, actual kernels. You know, it's a longer process. All right. That's that's what I prefer. But I digress. <laughs> you know, you get the point. OK. But it takes years upon years. OK. Studying, sacrificing, going through the fire, going through the straight gate, man, losing people, losing things. All right. Losing your mind. To obtain this wisdom, man. Okay? That's why we got to say the water, Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, man, for sending us to these great men. All right? These men that's the leaders of our, uh, uh, leading over our souls and, uh, you know, watch, watching over our souls, man. Making sure we have the right, you know, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, you know, to where we can go out and rightfully divide this word of truth, man. These are true leaders. Opposed to one that's still in this childlike mentality, man. Paul said what? When I was a child, you know, I, I, I spake as a child. I done things as a child. But when I became a man, what? I put away childish things, man. A lot of you niggas has not, have not put away childish things, man. Okay? And the, the Lord is working with us daily. Don't get me wrong. There's still a lot of things that you know, uh, 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 um, you know, we that that has a hold of us in a sense. You know, but we're breaking free from that. The Lord is making us free from a lot of that. You know, the, the you know, because we was in a, we was in the world, man, once. But guess what? That's why I said, don't and, and lie not against the truth, man. Give a fuck how you feel, man. The truth supersedes your feelings, man. The truth, the truth supersedes your agenda. Trying to seek preeminence, man. 
The truth supersedes that, man. Because that comes with envy and strife, man. You're, you're showing your true agenda. Okay? That's of the flesh, man. That spirit does not come from above, man. Okay? It says, verse 16, for, for where envy and strife is, there is confusion in every uh, evil work, man. That confusion, this is, this is a great confusion amongst Israel nowadays, man. <laughs> don't know if you want to go right. Don't know if you want to, hey, do you unstable, man? The scriptures say a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways, man. Okay? And it's only because one tried to hurry up and jump off the porch, man. All right? But the Lord is long suffering, is very patient, man. And he takes a liking into those who take their time, man. All right? Opposed to the ones who want to just jump off the porch. You jumping off the porch too fast, man. You're gonna get, you know, you're gonna get caught up into some shit that, you know, you can't get out of. All right. I learned that from a young lad, man. Going to jail, you know, at you know, seventh, eighth grade, you know tattoo, you know, trying to move fast and grow up fast, you know. Find up, you know, hey, hey, you know. Thinking I know more than my superior uh, my my oldest elders because I'm making a little money here. That's what the, that's what clouds a motherfucker mind, man. You know? Shit, I'm bringing in you know, if I'm bringing in, you know, I got more money than the teachers. I got more money than the motherfuckers that's older than me, man, but I ain't I ain't know no better. You know, I'm thinking I, 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 I've, I've obtained it. I figured it out just to find out I was moving too fast. And I needed to slow my ass down, man. So the Lord will humble you and show you you don't know what you think you know. OK. But only. Wisdom from above and, and the Holy Spirit from above will, will, will give you that humility to, so you can see. Damn, you're right. But nobody wants to be wrong. Only the men of the Lord, the true men of the Lord of the elect will recognize when they're wrong. All right. And then guess what? Acknowledge when you're wrong. It shows growth. That shows what? Integrity. It shows humility, man. And that's the spirit from above that the Lord is looking at. He's not looking at a proud man. One who thinks he knows it all. He thinks you know more than your master. And, all, and our master is Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man. All right? And he gave us men that, that we've entered into our labors, man. We've learned from. But yet... <laughs> the scriptures say the servant is not greater than his master, man. And that's in any field. That's just like me uh, being an iron worker, <laughs> you know. But I'm fucking a, a, a apprentice. But I come in thinking that I know more than a master iron worker, man. That's been do doing this for 40, 50 years. And because... The, 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 I have the internet or because I have uh, certain ways to learn things faster or do things. No, I don't have the experience. And that experience through that suffering, through that heartache, through the long days, the long hours, not seeing your family, you know, whatever it is. This is what I'm not factoring in. But because I have the internet, Hey, I have the, uh, so quick, you know, this information and this knowledge so quick at my fingertips. I think I know more than the one who's experienced. You're moving too fast. That's the spirit of Esau. You, you don't want to suffer. You want to hurry up and get your own group. You know, you want to hurry up and be, become the boss. Get your own group. Oh, let me hurry up and know all this stuff. Nah, man, you're going to regurgitate all that shit, man. Okay? 
Hey, this is not given to the mighty or the swift, all right? But the one who endures, man, time and chance happen to everyone, man. But, but guess what? It ain't your time, man. Got to know when to sit back, man. Take the back seat, man. Acknowledge when you're wrong. That's the spirit of the above, man. Verse 17, but the wisdom that is from above is first pure. That word pure has to go into sincere. All right? Let's look it up. You got to be sincere in this thing, man. All right? Let's see what this says. It says... Strong's G, 3303. Men. Men. <laughs> That's crazy. Pure. It's funny that it says men. You know? Truly. Certainly. Surely. Indeed. Let's go into the LMR. Sincere. Oh, you see that? What it say? Pure. Unmixed. Unadulterated, man. And this is how we should be as men. Free from pretense of falsehood, man. All right? It must be pure. There should be no lie within this truth, man. Okay? Sincere, man. So coming in the spirit other than that shows that you're not sincere about what you what you're really in. It shows your true intentions. It shows what agenda you actually are really on, man. And you're no different than these, you know, uh, scoffers that's out here trying to uh, 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 um, stifle the truth, man. A vocab alone and of sorts. You start to show yourself. Uh, 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 acting just like them You know Trying to get Views and clicks Alright These men claim to be prophets But really they're just content creators man Alright They don't have the spirit from above man Though they know who they are And you teach men That who you are you know But you don't have the breath What's that uh, Ezekiel 37 you have the skin and the sinews round about you, but you do, you're you not alive. You're not made alive. You're not quickened through the Holy Spirit. That breath has not entered into you, man. Why? Because you're malicious. We understand malicious soul. Eh? Wisdom is not going to enter into a malicious soul, man, because your intentions are not sincere. It's not pure, man. Okay? That's it, man. It says, verse 17, James 3 and 17, but the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality, man, and without hypocrisy, man. Can't be an actor in this thing, man. Can't be a hypocrite in this thing, man. Okay? Because you're going to get found out. The Lord is going to expose you, man. He's going to expose you. Why? Because when it's your time to go through this fire, all right, it's going to come to a point where, guess what? You can't stand the heat. And a lot of men gotten up out that kitchen, man. A lot of men couldn't stand the heat and endure it for a little while and say, you know what? This ain't, you know, working out how I wanted, you know, wanted to go. <laughs> you know, I thought by now I would be, you know, a, a leader, you know, an elder or, or, or this, uh, you know, <laughs> seeking preeminence, man. Envying, you know, one another. Envying one because of the truth they obtain. You're not looking at the years, you know, that, uh, that that it took for you to, for that certain, you know, said person, you know, to obtain it. 
you looking at, oh, he, he, he always trying to, they always trying to uh, rebuke somebody, correct somebody. Man, come on, man. That's not the spirit from above, man. That's not pure. That's not sincere. Verse 18, and the fruits of righteousness is sown in peace of them that make peace, man. Didn't the scriptures say, hey, bless all the peacemakers, man. For they should inherit the kingdom, roughly paraphrasing. Okay? Sit, man. So we must seek wisdom from above, man. And with that said, wisdom, man, there's certain attributes that you must obtain. All right? And being sincere and pure in heart within the mind will reveal your true intentions. All right? And that will be a, 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 a start of your wisdom and the Holy Spirit dealing with you, man. Well, it would not enter into a malicious soul. With that, <clears throat> I'm going to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Kakadash, the water Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai for letting me do this video, giving me the spirit to do this video, seeing that Satan was trying to buffet me through the spirit. <clears throat> And uh, not get me to do one. So I'm glad I endured throughout the whole process. All right. Within this video. And didn't give up. And didn't give up. I'm going to get out that, that thanks to Yahweh while Yahweh shy. Hopefully this video has edified someone out there to seek wisdom from above. Shalom.